Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to Stray. So we have made it up to the control room. I mean, look how far we've come. This is really amazing. Oh, um, and I tried and I can't get up on top of those lights. Sorry. So I think we may actually be nearing the end now that we've made it all the way up here to the control room. So let's go take a look around. Are these coffee mugs? Look at this place. First of all, coffee mugs. Come on. Come on. They just bounce. What kind of space age coffee mugs are these? <sighs> well, the important part is I tried, right? Wow, look at all these fun things. Oh, wow. I couldn't even see this previously. Is this inhabited? Like, I thought all the robots were in the slums right there. Wow, okay. Cool. Yeah, there's a button over there, but I'm, I'm playing around and having fun. Nice jump. Nicely done. So many sticky notes, I wish I could read them. And nothing terribly interesting on this side. Okay. Well. Except for two. <laughs> I don't know where one is, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we go. So let's take a look at this. What do we have going on here? This is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one's been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from years ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online, of course. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on, of course. Will you do that? I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Okay. At least for once, the cat gets to do the hard part. Enjoy. It seemed to be an inspect. I couldn't remember if there was like a button to zoom in. But, okay. Well, let's go poke around. See, now we have good reasons to explore things. Turn things on. Oh. <laughs> oh, of course. This is exactly how computers work. <laughs> I'm so glad this has never crossed the tiny little walnut-sized brain of my cat. Because the last thing I need is for her to figure out how to turn my computer on and off. Enjoy the world's safest city. Cool. It worked. Good job, my friend. I've found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control. Oh. Oh. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. We need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. <laughs> I love you, my friend. Okay. So, let's go break some stuff. I love breaking things. What do I need to break? I can break this. Maybe not. Mmm. Ah. Stupid panels. Here's a thingy. What do you think about this thingy? Come here, you. There we go. <laughs> One down. Let's go take a look around. I love the fact that I'm like scratching at the computers. 
Like just having this like wild old time. Oh, there's a thing right here. <laughs> what I do best. Ah, oh, you're so cool, my friend. Ah. <laughs> So far, so good. Let's see here. Anything else around here? Just don't want to, like, miss too much of an area. Like, explore things carefully. Mmm, computers to break. And we broke that one already. Here's a vending machine. No, it seems like the defending machine the vending machine is impervious to me. I know it's probably someplace simple, but I just wanted to look around a little more. Oh cool. I like their little cafe. How far up can I go? Oh, there's cameras. This doesn't look interesting up there, but now I have to go up there. Can I? No. But over here? No. Alright. It's okay. So I've missed a computer here. Let's see here. Oh, hack. Oh, careful, buddy. The system is taking more than I expected. Uh. Uh. No, no, we've got to keep going. Okay. Keep going doing what? I don't know what we're doing. I'm confused. I am merely cat. Oh, here. More systems you can hack. Go ahead and grab it, buddy. Hmm. Bzzzt. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. You're not looking so great, my friend. Not gonna lie. About this one? Dude! I think this little body's done for. It's okay, just carry me to the workstation, then we can disable that alarm. Okay. Which workstation? The original one we were poking at? Come here. I don't know which workstation you're talking about, buddy. Is it this one? No. Um. I'm just a cat. And I suck at being a cat. Oh, there's the one over here. Did we poke at this one? Yeah, that's the first one we started. Okay. And. We went to that one, and then this was the other one, right? Um... Hmm... Because these aren't anything interesting, these are just like, spots. These are where like the everyday boring people worked. Oh, up here? Roof control station? No. 
Oh, there we go. Yep. Alarm is off. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I know the power required to disable the city's control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made the choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it would bring. I'm sorry I won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions and you. Let me take that off you. Yeah. You are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Oh, man. Their little guy. I know it sucks, but we gotta get up. We did everything we could. Oh. <laughs> I can take more of a nap. Oh, man. Let's... Wow. And it's still opening. What's it at? It said back here up on top, didn't it? 46%. Let's watch this. This is super cool. This is really not what I expected. <laughs> but I'm glad to let like everyone out of here. Like, I had noticed the companions were sort of evolving. Like, although they were mostly doing Mimicry of Human stuff, they were indeed kind of inventing their own thing, their own culture. They've obviously invented their own language. Um, man, I think this is great that we're going to give them an opportunity to do so instead of being cooped up in this, like, sealed city where they can't escape. Wow, neat. So I'm assuming that we'll have, like, elevators and stuff that come online, right? There we go. That's it. City open. We made it, buddy. Thanks for all your help. City sealed. Well, guess what? It's not. Now the city is open. Alright. Well... I admit I'm not totally sure where to go here now to get outside. 
Bunch of staircases. Can I go back into the command room now or out of the control room? Seems okay with humans now. Check the elevators, yep. Or is it one way? Nope, we're all good. So where's the robots who are out here working? Hey! Dude? Hi. Your tree's really pretty. You've been doing a fine job on them. Oops, sorry. You know, you guys are free to, like, go do whatever you want. You don't have to keep mopping forever. Well, maybe you guys do. You might have been given, like... Hold on, yeah, I know. Like, instructions to, like, keep doing this forever. Painting over and over again. But let's do this. Here we go. And back into the sun. Quite a trip, huh? All right, let's go find our friends. <laughs> I wonder what that was that just turned on. Well, this was a fun little game. This is not at all what I expected when we started. I figured that it would be more of like a cat off an adventure, not that I'd promptly get drafted into the robot liberation movement. Um, at first I was a little disappointed by that, but B12 was an interesting companion and seeing the state of the city um, that I'd fallen into was sort of shocking how much things had fallen apart. I think one of the most critical points was that Although some of these companion robots uh, wanted to open or leave the city or whatever, they weren't quite capable of starting these actions. They'd never really had like full executive control being just, you know, servant robots. So to have a point where a cat was enough of an independent entity to finally like finish up their dreams was sort of cool. I do have a couple criticisms, of course. Uh, there was no need to go all alien xenomorph with those horrible little bugs. That really felt out of place. It was also surprisingly difficult to find my way around the various parts of the city. Um, I guess the idea was that you won't need a map to navigate, but some of us do. <laughs> I took a lot of the wandering out because someone with better spatial awareness would probably have had a much easier time. Also, I admit, I just kind of wanted to be a cat, exploring without a care in the world, but that's okay. It was actually kind of sad moving upward through the city because basically at every step I had to leave some new friend behind to either die or be trapped or something. Even my companion B12 was never actually able to see the outdoors. I hope that now that the city's open, all the security will drop and a change in the city's functionality will slowly move the robots that have been, you know, pointlessly doing the same thing for centuries out of their rut and to find a new purpose. And I would really be interested to drop in on them in a couple of hundred years and see what they've managed to do. But we've come to the end of our time. I really enjoyed Stray, and I hope that you did as well. See you next time.